Okay, so for my odd cut cab, you can do whatever type of stone you want, preferably one that you own. I'm going to do a diamond shaped because this is the template that I have, and I'm going to try to reproduce an Amazonite. Uh, I think that's Amazonite. Um, first of all, I have to sharpen my green pencil. This is true green because I feel that the stone is going to be mostly true green. I'm going to need another tone to give it its shading and everything else. So I am going to use, uh, I'm going to try an apple green first, see if it works. And a lot of these things, have I drawn this stone a lot? No, I have not, I assure you. You kind of, you know, stones come in such a variety. And just sort of use the theory that you, you've learned. And let's see if we like these colors together. That's very apple -y. Let's see if I have another green that will do the job. Hmm, it doesn't look like I do. Ugh, so annoying. Again, I normally, normally don't draw stones that are apparently like this. Anyways, I guess I'll try it just with a true green. I will use... I might be able to use a dark green as the the basic form. Again, keep your pencil sharp, especially off the start. So, drop edge, lighter. Because it's actually over here, this side and this side are going to be the same tone. This is lighter. This is the darkest side. And I'm doing a weighted line up this side here okay so that's my start point even though these are different shapes this is the this is the what I'm going for and it's going to be again it's going to be a cab so it's going to come up to a flat and down so to do that this edge is actually going to be fairly sharp and then flat across the top so I'm going to start with a little bit of this dark green again just to Sort of keep me into what my intention is. So what this is, it's, it's halfway between being the pyramid shape that we've drawn before and the cube. You know, this edge and this edge are going to be tapered. You know, we have to set the stone somehow. So essentially that's my basic shape here. It's coming up to a flat. and this flat top surface is gonna, gonna be flat. So on this one, because of these white flecks, I want them to be in there, I want them to be blended into my stone, so I'm going to clear out a whole bunch, and they're all striations this way, so I'm gonna clear out, fill in my uh, my tooth so that this cannot be filled with color okay and I'm just doing a fair amount is there a pattern sure it's all sort of going in the same direction but that's pretty much all that I'm seeing in here I'm going to avoid things like this fissure that's going across here because uh, quite frankly it's just going to get in my way so now I'm going to fill the thing in with the true green and I'm going to kind of hope this is the right tone. But as it's the only green Prismacolor I have that is even close, I'm going to use it. So you're going to find a stone and you are going to create a texture or a design. In the photograph from Sarah's sample, you're going to see a bloodstone. Um, you can do whichever type of stone you want for this, the, the center option. You just have to apply theory. So in this case, I know that this side here is tapering up and it's actually going to be darker. And I know this side, I'm going to reassert these, oops, a little bit of a dark line in there, which I don't like. 
reassert these tapers. This side has little to none, but I need to pull this center facet up to the top. And to do that, I have to, I have, I'm pushing the edges back just a little bit. There is no um, very little transition up this side. Now I'm going to go over with my green tone and I'm going to make this green. So I'm actually getting rid of all that dark green that I put in there now. It's going to join in with this green that's already here. This side, there's less dark green, so that side is naturally going to have less tone to it. And I'm just pulling this up. Now one thing to remember is this is basically flat. There's a slight curve to it. You can see, you can see on this stone, it's a pretty good example. It comes up and goes to a flat. That's kind of what I'm trying to portray here. I'm gonna deepen this top tone a little bit. Now what I don't like so far is this is actually a little bit greenier. I would like I would like another green tone in there. 